My grandmother had this saying, which was, you may be the first to do many things, but make sure you're not the last. Oh, man. We're going deep. <laughs> My name is Koshin Finley. I'm a visual storyteller based in Los Angeles. My name is Denise Davis. I am a producer. Uh, I produce with Issa Rae Productions. I also run a company called Color Creative that I co-founded with Issa Rae. My name is Mina Harris, and I am a mother. I am a partner, a lawyer, and an entrepreneur. And I'm the founder of the Phenomenal Woman Action Campaign. My name is Spencer Pacinger. I'm a father, a husband, a seven-year NFL vet, a Super Bowl champion, and a producer on a TV show called All American Based on My Life. At times, I, I do feel like I'm the only one, especially in my, in my respective fields. I've sometimes felt like I was the only one since I was a teenager, where, again, it was, you know, the lowly black kid going from South Central to Beverly Hills High and having to make a name for myself. To be the only one is lonely. When you're experiencing something for the first time, perhaps, and you don't have sort of the, that, you know, the, the network to talk to people to say, what was your experience? Can you tell me, you know, how you navigated this and how that might help me on my journey? If you don't have that, it can feel isolating and, and scary. When I find myself being the only woman of color on a set or in a meeting, uh, because it still happens, uh, believe it or not, part of me initially always feels um, isolated and, and sometimes a little intimidated, but very quickly I've now learned to take that feeling and turn it into empowerment. And now I feel empowered to be in there and wanting to create that change, but also making sure that if I'm in those rooms, I better have a voice. It is an opportunity to, to do things on your terms and, and to do things in a way that, at least as to your experiences, is what you think is the right way. It's okay because then, you know, again, you can leave the door open for other people. You can show people that, you know, you don't have to take the lowly road. You can take the road that somebody else has already paid for you. I would definitely say I, I don't feel like the only one. I know that I'm not. I have beautiful, incredible people on, on my team of supporters and friends. I know every morning that I'm not the only one and there's people who are standing right next to me. Um, that I can attest to that and the fact that I see my friends striving forward in, in life and in their careers and that's inspiration for me to, to continue moving on.